Yep. Okay, hello everyone. This is Nod, and I'm recording this as a little bit of a, a comeback to something I've been wanting to do for a real long time, and it's something that has caught my interest for a while now, as um, some people may already know. And, uh... So I guess I have a little bit of time now to uh, mess around with this and see what we can get out of it. So a few months back, I think it was about a year ago or half a year ago maybe, I tried corrupting Rhythm Tengoku with the real-time corruptor. That didn't work out... Uh, well, it worked out well, I guess, but most of it was just me looking at save states that I've already done and uh, the corruptions that I got on the spot weren't very amazing. But that's to be expected, I mean, come on. Uh, but today I want to go through some stuff that the Corruptor can do to older style games. Games that, uh, that are based on um, different ways of doing things. And of course, since I am blind, I have no idea uh, what is going on with the graphics, or how I'm supposed to play most of these games. In fact, usually I'm just going to stay at a certain spot or a title screen or something similar and uh, wait for the corruptions to kick in. Uh, but this first game is an exception. Okay. So this is Tetris for the NES. It's quite weird because when you first think of Tetris, you think of the Game Boy version. But there's a reason why I'm putting this here first. Um, the reason being... Uh, oh, come on. Oh, it's this over here, so. Broken. Okay. That's fine. Zai. Okay, now it's not fine. It's completely broken. So let me uh, reset it and try again. There's a certain thing I'm looking for that is very easy to uh, to find. Stop, stop. Oh, come on. I reset the thing. Why isn't it working? Didn't I reset it? Sure, I did. Right? Just a minute. Is it not responding? No, it's not responding. This can be a quite processor intensive, especially because I'm recording right now. And so my computer may lag on me a little bit while doing this. Um, come on. What? Let me actually, let me just quickly press control O and it's probably going to break on me now because it sometimes does that. Nope. Oh, there we go. Yep. It just broke twice. Okay, I don't think it ever did that before. Now, can I press Control O for once and actually get it to work? No, nope. it's gonna crash again. Watch. I said it's gonna crash, and now it's not gonna crash. 
Hello? Uh, what? By the way, I'm still getting used to the new version of RTC. I mean, not much has changed from what I can tell so far, but uh, it's 3.5 something now. And, um, it, uh, I think it broke my NVDA. Just a second. But yeah, the, the window is a little bit different now, and it does put a bunch of this random stuff on the screen that the that NVDA is reading, which the old didn't do Oh, it's not responding. Okay, let's just close it. Then. Let's just see. Yeah, I'm just going to close the program and see if, it, if RTC detects it and relaunches it. Yep. There we go. It's going to relaunch RTC. itself, and hopefully, I should get it to open. Problem method one. Problem method one. This is really annoying. Shut up. Please. Is that too much to ask? I'm going to see if I can even get to the gold. Oh. Never mind. Just trying to st struggle with it to get it to even open. Okay, I'm going to pause this and I'll be back once I get it loaded again. Okay, it was only about half a minute later that I can actually get it to open. So now if I press start, yes, there we go. So let's pause that and configure my settings again. Intensity is 20. Oh, so I don't need to configure anything. And I'm going to switch between these two windows. I'm going to unpause and uh, see if I can get this amazing corruption. While, while we're waiting, we can see a few other things happen. Maybe the intensity of 20 is a little too much. Let's scale that down. Because that probably is way too much. It's better to use smooths. It's Uh, hello? No? Still nothing? There we go. Ooh, waveform change, cool. Even more waveform change. Whoa! Okay. I guess intensity of 5 is still too much. Wait, is the intensity bigger? Is that better or is less? Problem is, the old version... I'm confused with the text boxes now because it's relabeled now. It's not called steps anymore. I don't know which one is intensity. Oh, it's still doing stuff. That still doesn't mean much because I can't actually click anything. But I'm going to set it to 100 real quick and reset it again. See if that makes it extremely bad or if it makes it 
not do anything. As in, working properly. No, I think it's broken. Yeah. So, let's do intensity of one. Just normal minimal settings here. See if that gets a, gets us any any uh, easier to to catch up with kind of messages or uh, corruptions here. Uh, come on, I told you to reset. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Because now it's actually playing the real game, but I want to just be in the music selection menu because I have discovered that um, pressing up and down actually changes the music. So, we have error delay 1, intensity 1, uh, kind of slow degradation, okay. One of the channels is now gone, and crash. And now it's kind of broken. Uh, out of sync. Is it just me or did it get louder? Whoa! How do you do that? Whoa. A lot of random things are happening. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa! It's still kind of working, and there we go, now it's broken, but I can reset it. So that was just a temporary thing. If I press down and then up, it goes back to this music. And now the triangle wave is out of sync. Whoa! What was that? Uh, I'm going to rewind out of that. Still press up, left, and right as usual. Ooh. That's not supposed to happen. And now it's completely gone. What? I didn't click anything! What was that? That time I did. Noise Wave is, is, uh, has a mind of its own. And now I have no idea what's going on. Seems that the triangle wave is stuck. One perpetual note, as well as one of the pulse waves, and crash. Never mind. In fact, both the pulse waves are stuck. Although one of them is moving around and the other one isn't. And now the triangle wave's stuck. And now the what the hell? Okay, this is where things get interesting, because what I just did was mess up, and when, when it did something, and that is very, very crucial to do, because this is an actual thing that you can do very easily within the corruptor if you get it right, and if you press up at a certain point, things start happening when you start pressing up and down. Just listen to, to the different corruptions I get when I press up and down. This is a very common thing, by the way, it happens. The, uh, the music selection, uh, thing gets corrupted in such a way that uh, it now plays really weird things. For example, the sped up version of this music, which is actually a real thing, it's a part of the real game, it's not sped up because of the corruption. But if you go even deeper, this happens. Now, the weirdest part about this is the fact that the, the, the time, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but something that you do, but the time that you press down on the next, uh, on the music that was just playing, actually affects what this random corruption music outputs. I kind of, I can't exactly show you how this works, but I'm going to try to give you an example later. And not with this though. Whoa. I don't think I've ever heard this before. I'm just gonna let you listen to this for a little while. And see if it does anything. Because sometimes it does. Never mind, this doesn't. 
was this? Some of this uh, kind of corruption music is uh, is um, easy to come by, and it's almost always the same. So I kind of know what to expect. Whoa, that is something I was not expecting. I can't show you exactly. Maybe with this? Okay, um, so if you do it at a part where it goes no 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 the next the thing that would that happens when you press down goes no it's no it's no it's but if you do it at a part where it's a little bit slower, like this then it just completely stops. That is a very crude way of explaining how it works, but there's a certain music track and a certain thing that happens when you press down that you can easily understand this uh, method or this um, thing I'm trying to explain here. Let's see if I can find it. This is the um, music type 3. Sped up, of course. See if I can find it. Whoa. I'm gonna keep going down. If you go down fast enough, it's actually going to create new tracks to go through because if you go down slowly, it cycles through a certain set of tracks. When you go up, that list goes backwards, from what I can tell. And if you go down too much, it just starts crashing after a while. Here we go. Here's the music I was looking for. So, that's what happens. But I'm going to stop at a very specific point and see what happens. No, that doesn't work here. Never mind. Whoa. I'm gonna let you listen to this for a little bit, because we really haven't had the chance to had the chance to listen to just corrupted music that much. What is the noise wave doing? Right here. Also, it sounds like the triangle wave is actually trying to make up something, but all it is is just a loop. Whoa. Whoa. What's causing that banging noise? I don't even know. Whoa. That is pretty cool. One more music track that I want to show you real quick that we didn't get to experience yet, and then I'll uh, move on to something else. There we go. So, for those of you who actually have played Tetris on the NES, which I haven't, of course, uh, some of this may be familiar. To me, it's just a bunch of cool music that I can listen to. Oh, is that actually a part of the music? Yes, it is. Um, there's also a victory sequence music, but I don't think we're going to discover that. And I'm just going to keep going down from here, and it's just going to crash at one point. Yep. 
Yep. Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. Now it's back to the normal um, selection of music that is either this or this. So, that was Tetris for the NES, and I wanted to start with that because I knew that I could find something amazing. But um, let's do something a little less conventional, and let's open up another NES game that I've been having a lot of fun corrupting. Uh, it's Mega Man 3. Let's see what we can find. Let's start auto corrupting. Uh, it doesn't want to load. That's a little bit worrying. Oh, there we go. So, all I can do here is just watch. I really can't actually play any of the games. But at, at, a some, at some point, you may even see familiar tracks of the game just randomly start popping up out of random. And, of course, the amazing corruptions that the different sound channels can do, like the first thing you just heard there with the triangle wave being all vibrato -y, is quite fun in itself. And the other, the other pulse wave is now gone. Whoa! Whoa. What the hell? That is cool. Does the noise wave work? No. Not at all. And crash. Oh, that's a permanent crash. That's annoying. Ooh, that is... I actually have to rewind out of those because they're actually... they're permanent. There we go. Ah. Oh. No. Oh. No further. No, 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 no. Is it gonna work now? Yes. Uh, it's a disorientated mess, but it kinda does work. Oh god. What the hell? What? Okay, that is not supposed to happen. That is not supposed to happen at all. But that's what I was talking about, is just randomly move on to a different part of music and then crash. And another crash. What is that supposed to be? Okay, it's still playing, um, this. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, it's actually in sync! Oh, come on! Whoa! It just went all down pitch. And now I don't even know what's going on. What? How do you do that in sync? Like, what is the probability of a corruption that actually puts the channels in sync with each other, making the same kind of weird noise? Like that. And now it's Portamento. Take a while for this to actually do anything. Ch 
changed changed envelope and now it's crashed. Sometimes corruptions get stuck at a certain point where well they don't get stuck, they just it's just um something happens and then um and then it just goes on for a really long time and it gets annoying. And no, my controls don't work. Oh, never mind, never mind, what the hell? Wait a minute, what? Oh, that was supposed to happen, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that was none of my doing. Whoa. I thought that was actually my controls that did that, but no. That was just by coincidence. Now I don't even know what's going on with the triangle wave anymore. Oh god. And now it's back to the title screen music. Well, partially. Never mind, it's only the first bar. But oh no. Okay, skip the head there. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa! No, I'm gonna crash. Oh, that's another crash. Okay, we're still back to this now. Why is it the boss music, though? Like, I don't get it. Seems to appear very often while I'm doing this. I mean, I've done this before, I know that sometimes this happens. Whoa. Isn't that, um... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, just a minute, let me stop corruption for a second. First of all, that sound is familiar, and second of all, isn't that Magnet Man stage? Yeah, it is. And it permanently crashes, unfortunately. So we won't get to, uh... We won't get to experience it very much. Oh. Come on, keep going. No! I want to hear more of the music. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, no. That's not what I wanted, but okay. What the? And now it's rapid fire. So wait, no, what is that? Isn't that the- it's back to title screen music, but it's all weird. Wait, now I don't even know. No, it is Magnet Man, it's just really fi uh, rapid fire style. I think. Yeah. It's not even rapid fire, it's all really weird. Okay, now I don't even know what's going on. Strangely fitting here. It sounds like... I don't know, it sounds vaguely familiar. And now it's broken. Ooh. 
key change. Now, at some point, you may even encounter a complete reset of the music, and it will actually reset to a different music. A music that is very, like, it's completely random. Well, not random in the sense that it's, it's a track in the game, but it's like a random track in the game. Because I've had it happen before. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. This is really weird. I'm debating if I should just reset this and try try another route. I think I'm going to do that. Let's reset and see what happens. Oh, immediate crash. Definitely not supposed to do that. And I don't even know what's going on. What is that pulse wave even doing? Is that supposed to happen? And my controls are not working either, so that's okay. Can you stop playing that beat? Oh, there we go. That's just this. Which for some reason is looping. I don't exactly know how that works. But, oh, what was that? This is where I'd be waiting for, uh, for a random music change to occur. Because sometimes it does do that. Instead we get crashes, which I have to rewind out of. There we go. I'm just trying to test that if my controls are working, but no, they don't. Nope, not much. I'm going to go for a few more seconds, and after that I'm just going to reset for one final time, and then we're going to move on to something else. Oh. Okay. Not much of a progress, or not much of a step forward, but I guess. Okay, let's reset for one final time. <laughs> no, not this again. Whoa! 
Ooh. Okay, and now we're thinking of our thing. Great. There we go. Random music change. Party, party, and I'm going to uh, stop At least, all the corruption of this. Unfortunately, uh, there may be a few crashes along the way, which I can't do Hello. anything about. But, yeah. Random music change time, and this is Shadow Man stage. And one thing that it does do very often is it slows down occasionally, which is quite weird. Oh, I wonder, um, I wonder if the portamento is actually supposed to happen. I haven't listened to the music for long enough, or for a real long time now, so I don't know. Maybe it is. But yeah, it's a little slower than usual. Anyway, my controls are already locked up and I can't do anything. So that was that was quite fun. I actually got something to work. Um, so when it comes to most games, it really is trial and error to figure out what it does. If it just keeps resetting on you or if it actually does some weird stuff. And um, now it's time to move on to another platform, specifically the Game Boy. Unfortunately, of course, I cannot play... I can't use any Lua scripts with this because it just doesn't work, but um, instead I'm going to load up Tetris for Game Boy and see how well this works. Now, I have not tried this before, so this is a complete 100% um, first time thing, and it's going to be again. Great. Oh, I forgot. Game Boy actually needs a BIOS. Back in a minute. Uh, hello? Is that a? Oh. Oh, I think I Crap, I forgot I had an uh, autocorrupt on. Let me not do that. Yes, do oh, do not. Wait, is it supposed to do that? What? Oh, I see. Okay. Makes sense. I, do I didn't remember doing that before, but okay. And is it going to actually load the game now? Yes, it, oh, it's in stereo. That is cool. This is the this was the launch title for the Game Boy, as far as I'm aware. But for what it was, it was actually pretty um, pretty good in music. I mean, it wasn't amazing or anything, from what I could tell. Uh, the early 2000s were was a time where uh, where music making on the Game Boy was much well more much more understood than it was back in 1989 when it was released, but it's still good. And is it, does this have a demo? No, it doesn't. But if I do press start, we get the... that. And this is actually a two-position screen. So, I'm going to uh, start autocorrupt and... And it, uh, it just freezes, okay? Oh, come on. Really? Are you kidding me? Can you stop doing that? 
Seems like that's okay for what it is. I don't know why it's doing this though. I'm going to change the in the error delay to four. Do I do need to rewind it, or is it broken? What is it? What? So I don't, I don't think I can get much out of this. It doesn't seem to want to work. Although the pitches randomly decide to go up and down. Oh, noise channel's gone. Okay. Never mind. It's kind of back. So Tetris for the Game Boy doesn't really want to do anything, although the controls are not working anymore, as far as I can tell. No. Okay. I'm going to keep doing this for a little bit. Let's put the air delay back Four. to one, which in turn is just going to cause it to crash more. Jump forward a little bit there. Sounds like um, sounds like a uh, a tape deck running at the wrong speed. Well, not the wrong speed, but just running at a constant fluttering speed either tape deck or uh, or a record player like that so no this doesn't want to work let's try another game cuz i do i did download a bunch of random game boy games back in 2014 for absolutely no reason and i have some of those in here Crash again. Wanna crash again? Get ready to play. Crash. There we go. Let's do Mega Man 3 for Let's do Mega Man 3 for Let's do No, 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 no. No. No effect. None at all. Let's change the intensity. Let's change that to... 30. Nope, still nothing. Wow. 
100. Oh, it was not corrupting. Oh. Wait, no, 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 But no, there's actually no, um... Whoa! Never mind! Okay? Never mind, I thought it was actually going to just stay there and do nothing. But no. Whoa! Rapid fire! And gosh. That. Or it's just the same thing. My controls are locked up, I can't do anything. That's a shame because, um. Yeah. Um, just, just for a little bit of curiosity, I just want to listen to one of the music tracks. I'm going to randomly pick a stage. Going to uh, press start and pick a random stage. I just want to listen to this. Okay. Also, I love this sound. I don't know why. And that. They've done a pretty good job um, porting the, the NES music over to the Game Boy, I think. Although the drum samples are almost always one-up samples, but the, the drum instrument is almost always the same between tracks. But that's okay. And excuse me for the constant slowdown. So I'm just going to randomly die, because why not? Oh, and I can also do this. Which is quite fun. No, never mind, I can't even die. I actually can't die. Okay, that's enough of that. So, it kinda works, but not really. Okay, here's another first. Um, I'm going to have to download another BIOS for this one, so I'll be back. Okay, let's see if this works. I've never done this before. I have no idea what to expect. Here it is. It's Sonic for the Master System. And does it work? The answer is... I've never heard that before, that is cool. Now I'm wondering if this has a demo mode. 
like it does. Let's let's find out if I just let it. If I just let it. Um, there you go. Is it going to actually play a demo? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's see how this works. Let's take a look at the 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 Let's take a look at it just reset itself. Whoa. Whoa. It is quite broken. Whoa, what was that? Okay. It likes resetting itself, that's for sure. Whoa. Look, is that actually gonna work? The answer is yes. Uh, or not. <laughs> is that actually supposed to happen? And now what? It's broken. Okay. Uh, let's rewind. Is it so broken that it doesn't even want to rewind from that? Oh, there you go. Oh! Okay. Definitely is out of sync. Quite fun. Now, what I also could do is just just to press start and uh, make it not do the demo. But I'm just gonna cycle through a little bit because it's gonna reset itself anyway. It's not like whoa, oh, oh, no music. I'm gonna stop auto corrupt. And, um, see how far it gets. Probably not far, but I'm still interested to find out. This is the demo. It's not me or anything. Is it done? And then die. Oh, and it's actually supposed to do. Okay, um, I have one question though. I'm gonna reset this and I'm going to let it go through one round of the demo. Is it supposed to die? That's my question. Is it supposed to die? Because in a lot of cases, the demo of a game is usually predetermined and it only stays on for a few seconds, and it's always the same. So stuff like Sonic Advance, or even the demos for the original Sonic on the Genesis, 
they're all predetermined and pre-done. Well, I guess not in this case. A well, hello is it? Oh, there you go. Let's take a look. Does it die on its own? Yes, it does. It does die. Now, the other question is... Is it really pre-programmed, or is it... Or is it not? No, nope, it... The same thing. So, it literally kills itself. Let's, um, listen to that from the very beginning and see if it does anything different. Probably not. First there's that. Then it jumps. Gets a few rings. And then loses them immediately. And then jumps again. And then dies. So... Yeah. Now what I'm just going to do is press start. Wait, I can't press start. It doesn't actually have a start button, does it? It's just got an A and a B, or a 1 and 2 button. So I'm just going to press 1 and uh, start auto this way so the music can play. Oh, crap. What the hell? Oh, I think I get it. So basically, it's like overloading the register of the square wave. Doesn't like it. Oh, just faded itself. Is that supposed to happen? No. Unfortunately, the master system does not have a pause button, so I can't pause it. Is it actually supposed to like fade itself out? Whoa. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's... that's a little bit... weird. Oh, you die from doing absolutely nothing! Great! This is great. Whoa! So it does reset in a lot of cases, which is annoying, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, oh, never mind. Never mind. Don't jump or else you'll die. Okay. Come on. No, nope, it's broken. Let's rewind. There's something really wrong there. Whoa! That is weird. And now we're stuck. Whoa. 
Come on. Continue. Come on. Get to the very end of it. Oh. Whoa. Okay. What? What is that? I think I'm going to restart this because this is really annoying. Uh, that was quick. Okay, another pointless random death. Wait, what? No. Wait, what? I'm not getting any rings, what? Oh, that didn't sound good. Another random death out of nowhere. Whoa. Why do I keep dying by doing absolutely nothing? And I didn't even... What? So wait, is this a demo or is this not- What is this? Yeah, I just randomly went to the demo there without me even asking. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Nope. Apparently can't. Oh, crap. Well, it definitely does make a few really cool noises. Oh. Ah. Oh. Why does it keep dying? What? What? Okay, I'm gonna stop out a couple for a second because I wanna see what happens after that. Is it gonna load me into another stage? Yes? What stage is that? It's just Green Hill Zone. I thought it was going to be something random, like a special stage or something. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa. And now it's broken. Wait, no it's not. Oh yeah it is. Wait! Wait, there's music? I mean, there's no music? Yes. Whee! I didn't even know that you could actually have no music in this game. I like the monoids. Of course, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, so... Come on, do the no. Oh. I'm gonna die. 
Is that a spring? Could be. I, I try. I keep trying to do a spin dash, and of course that doesn't exist in this game. Oh, I actually got a ring. And no. What was that? Oh, I lost my rings, and I'm gonna die. Yep. I think we're done with this one. So, um, I'm gonna quickly research something. Just a minute. It's gonna take me a little while. Okay. So, uh, our last item on the list that is going to be the most interesting, but for sure. Uh, that I'm going to be featuring right now is another Sonic game because that's what I have on hand. Um, me and and one of my cousins used to be uh, used to play random Sonic games together. And, uh, that's why I have a bunch of these laying around. So I'm going to find yeah, this. This is a. Uh, a combination of Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Commonly, usually referred to as Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the Sega Genesis. And hopefully this runs without a problem. Hopefully. Yes, good. Now, uh, let's do some production with this. There's quite a few... Uh, memory domains here. The problem is, I don't exactly remember which one, but there was one that I had to uncheck in order to get it to run properly. So I'm going to try and start auto corrupting, and it's probably going to break right away, especially the PCM samples are going to break. I know that for a fact, but here we go. Hello? Yep. It it broke itself quite quickly. No. Okay, there's something I have to do. Maybe it's the 68k RAM. Let's try that. No such luck. Okay, okay. We're getting results here. Um, I need to turn the intensity down. I'm going to change Five. Let's see if that makes them any better. Oh, come on. Really? Whoa! Whoa! Nope. Five. Um, let's change the error delay to 20, and let's uh, swap out the... And select that. That's the difference. Yes, it does. Seems to be working so far. And we should be hearing the demo in a bit. See what that's like. Corrupted. Not much. Not much at all. 
any milk options at all? Okay, then let's go into the save menu. Is there nothing happening? Let's turn the yard away to one. Is the only thing that I can corrupt uh, the, the Z80 and, and everything else just breaks? I've never had I've never had a Genesis game be this stubborn. It usually corrupts all the way very very quickly. Not this time. Intensity. Put that up. No. Nope. Crashed. Oh. Oh no. Oh really? It loves crashing this one. This one loves resetting. Are you kidding me? Intensity 1 then. Back to intensity 1 you go. Oh, never mind. Let's reset this completely because I, I don't think I've ever heard that many Segas in a while. Are you kidding me? I just reset it. And it's still doing this. Hmm. This is uh quite a game we have here. Let's um let's let's see. No, I don't think there's much I can do at this point. Uh, do I have a? No, I don't have a save state. Of course, this because this is the new version of Bizhawk, so it's not going to work anyway. Uh, so yeah, that was a complete failure. Uh, I mean, maybe I could have customized the settings a little bit more and got it to actually work, but this video is already getting really long as it is, and I've had a lot of fun with the the older style games anyway, and it was fun. Uh. So maybe at some point I'll come back to this, but it was fun while it, while it lasted, and uh, I guess I'll see you later. Goodbye for now.